Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the audio quality level node. So let's go ahead and look at these nodes inside of Blueprints, and then I'll cover what they do and an example. Basically, there are two nodes in the game user settings that don't deal with video. It's the set and get audio quality. We can pull it off of our normal game user settings, type in audio, and we'll have a getter and a setter. Now the way these work is basically, it's going to adjust inside of your sound cues, audio quality levels. And these audio quality levels are, it's an array, it's going to be zero, zero based array, so zero, one, two, three, etc. And they're going to allow you to adjust what sounds are played, as well as adjust the number of sound channels at runtime. However, it's only at loading runtime, and I need to actually show you that. So let me go ahead and run this example and show you how it doesn't work. So if I run this, go to audio, it's currently set to low, and I hit accept, you hear a sound. Now that sound is actually the high sound plane. If I go to medium and hit accept, same sound, and high, same sound. However, if we look through the code, we'll see that when I hit the accept button, I'm setting the audio quality level based on my dropdown, and applying it immediately, and playing the correct sound. And if we open up our sound cue and we look at it, we see that based on the quality level, it should be playing one of three sounds. This sound gets played for high, the sound gets played for medium, and the sound gets played for low. I think I have the, oh, do I have it muted inside of the editor? I have it muted inside the editor, that's why we can't hear those. But regardless, I have three different sounds that should play based on high, medium, and low. But as you saw when I ran the example, it didn't work. Well, this is one of those ones where the settings don't work inside the editor properly. If I run the package project, we'll actually be able to see this in action. Let's go to our audio, it's on high, and there's our high sound. Now if I run it on medium, we're not gonna get the different sound like I expected. However, it is saving it, it is applying it, and if we were to rerun the example, now when it starts up and I tell it to load up the audio settings, it's going to load up the medium path. And now we have a different sound. And I can go to low and I can rerun it. And now I'll get a different sound for the medium, oh, sorry, for the low sound path. And you hear the little thump. That's the way it's supposed to work properly. The reason is this audio quality setting is when the game loads up basically the first time you run the loading of the audio quality it's going to tell the engine if it should be running which version of the audio quality and that's what all of your audio paths are going to follow while the game runs so this is an example of one where if the player changes it or you change it for the player you're going to prompt them to restart the game so you can apply the new settings now let's see how it actually works and what we'd use it for now that we've discussed an issue for testing the first thing you're going to run into when you set the audio quality level is it's not actually going to work. In your project settings, under audio, you have quality levels right here. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete these. And you'll find you have one audio quality that you cannot delete. When you have a new project, this is what you're going to actually start with. You're going to start off with default 32 channels. That is the default. You don't have low, medium, high, and you don't have any other ones you can adjust. This is all customizable by you. If I was to go in right now and pull up my audio quality levels, and I was to get it or set it, this is the only option I'd have. And if I go back into my sound cue now, we'll see our quality level node only has default. And if I was to go to quality level, for example, put a new one in here, it's only default, and there's no details, and you can't just add a pin inside of here. This node is built based on the settings inside of your project. So for my example, I went in, I made high my default, I added two more, I added a medium, 
and I added a low and I went ahead and adjusted these down I went to like 16 and 8 as my max channels these are the max concurrent audio channels let's go ahead and go back into our sound cue and now you notice it's rebuilt with high medium and low which of course I can plug into here and then when I run my example I'm basically setting it to 0 1 or 2 which corresponds to my different project settings here quality 0 quality 1 and quality 2 so that is how the quality levels node works this node is inside of a sound cue and allows you to adjust now typically you'd want to use it based on if you are having different audio quality levels you might have some things that take up a high amount of processing for example you have a reverb node uh, you have the ability to reverb you have the ability to doppler you have things like that let's say we went with like a doppler node here if you have nodes that take up high amount of processing you may want to do something like this and then your medium for example might only have that or your high for example might have let's add in a oh do, 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 do. let's do an enveloper in here as well see and then your medium branch could be this for example and then your low branch could be this and of course if you clean this up it would look a lot better but basically you have basically 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 you have a path for high that may take more processing power a path for medium which will take less and then a path for low for people who have a low amount of processing power for special sound effects so that's what you would use your quality level node for so that's pretty much going to wrap up our audio quality level node remember you can get it and set it from our get game user settings is a zero based array that array is based inside of your project settings the node itself is used inside of a sound queue based on the quality settings you've set up you can of course name it anything you want I went with high medium and low because it makes it simple it does not take effect until the first time you use it on the engine load so if you're going to change it make sure you apply it so it's saved to the settings so that way the next time the player loads up the game it's going to use the new settings. You're not really going to be able to change it at runtime, so keep that in mind. And it's a nice simple way for you to set up different quality levels based on the player's expected computer performance and also give back different effects as needed. One thing you might want to consider is using just maybe one setting or two settings if needed. If you just don't want to care about the quality level, just leave it as is. You could also just simply use it as an easy way to change if you don't want to have quality. You do not need to use the quality level node itself. Simply adjusting the quality level to the different settings in the project itself will change the max levels here for the audio channels, which in and of itself will adjust the player's audio quality and performance. So you could use it just to change the number of max channels without actually using it in a queue.